We're going to play you guys a song that... Um, you can smirk all you want if you want. Um, we think you've probably heard this song a couple times. Along with many of these songs, but we don't we don't have to play it. I heard somebody go, ah, oh, here it goes. But it, I'm gonna say like, something about like this. like it's our one parlor trick. Like, and he's about to juggle. Great, he always juggles. Every time we're with new people that I like, he screws it up by juggling. Zach, you wanna just get a couple more things out of your system? Real yes. Quick? In fact, I do. Just go. And I'm gonna do it later. <laughs> Because it's more fun to carry on for a while <laughs> with your Chris Farley voice. <laughs> Just let the boy marry your grandmother. What's wrong with walking around the beach without any pants on? It's Jamaica. Say no to Mountain Dew shots, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say things, and then I'm going to stop saying things. Yeah. It was always important for us to play this song, most shows, and continue to do it, because when you're known for something, I always hated it. Okay, you know somebody. You'll hear his Counting Crows, and you love Mr. Jones. Or Mrs. You know, Billy Joel, you like, you love like Piano Man. Yeah, you want to... Mrs. Jones! Wait, there's a different song. You want to know a million songs, but... You wouldn't have put out that song if you weren't proud of it, if it wasn't part of your story. And you guys should do the same, and you have done the same for us for 20 plus years. So, uh, so when we celebrated that 25th year, and we were singing lyrics like, you have so many relationships in this life, only one or two will last. It was like, oh shit. Man, those handsome guys have got something figured out. I don't know. But we, uh, the songs that we create, just like the stories we create, are so important because they are what get us where we're going, right? You can't just jump. You know, I love, after you've done something for a while, you can actually start saying things about, like, things you know. And you actually experience them, you look back, hey, son, let me tell you, you know? But you can't skip the first time of anything. You gotta do it, one way or another, right? You can't jump forward and do, I'm gonna just do second time, right? Sometimes the first time is running into the water and realizing there's rocks there. Okay. Sometimes it's screwing up your first child and realizing you have to fix it later. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what first children are for, isn't it? Exactly. It's an experiment. You never Sometimes know it's, gonna it's turn out. the third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a lucky charm, basically. Like a vapid, sugary substance that you throw. <laughs> right. Which happens to me Delicious. My favorite breakfast cereal! So there! Play it again. <laughs> Here we go. So cheers to you guys. It's a lucky charm.
Yeah. 